Spring is one of my absolute favorite times to explore. All kinds of different animals are emerging from their winter dormancy and getting ready to breed, but few are as unique in appearance or important in ecological niche as the crayfish. The only species of crustacean to live in North Carolina's freshwater ecosystems, these awesome creatures can be found under streamside rocks during the day, where they hide from predators and wait for the cover of nightfall to emerge and hunt. This spring, I wanted to find and film some of these organisms in 4K to show you just how incredible they truly are. So, I headed down to a local creek and started searching. Oh, there's a little one. Awesome. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, we got animals. We got animals in here. Yeah! Awesome. There we go. Ouch! Ah! Ah, they're killing me. Ah, they're killing me. Watch out. Angry crayfish. All right. Whew. These are some feisty little dudes. Look at that. Look at this. Whoa. Awesome. We got our first animals of the spring. All right. All right, guys. Now, the American crayfish is one of the most interesting animals that we have here in North Carolina. Now, crayfish are distributed all across the southeastern United States. There's actually several hundred species of crayfish found throughout the world. Uh, now, this I've always just called the American crayfish, and right now they are in a very black molting stage. So these guys are both very black in coloration. They have red-tipped claws, uh, but they do go through several color phases a year. So depending on where you live and what time of the year you find a crayfish, it could be black in color, gray in color, or even red or yellow in color. Now crayfish are crustaceans, of course. You can tell, I mean, they look like little mini lobsters. And scientists think that these guys diverged from lobsters around 10,000 years ago and inhabited these freshwater ecosystems. Now these guys are super important to the ecosystem health for two reasons. One is that these guys are prey. So lots of things like the snack on crayfish, these little guys are packed with protein. Now, of course, they do have an exoskeleton, which is their armor, it's their defense against predators. But everything from birds to raccoons to fish, especially largemouth bass or catfish, love to snack on crayfish. They're just an excellent protein source for all kinds of predators. But they're also like an environmental cleanup crew. So these guys are like the janitors of any creek or pond ecosystem that they live in. They actually feed on detritus. Now, detritus is just a fancy word for decaying plant and animal matter. So these guys eat that, and what that helps to do is recycle those nutrients from deceased organisms back into the ecosystem. So when something eats these, they're also getting the nutrients that they wouldn't have gotten from eating something dead that these would eat. Uh, they will also occasionally take the offensive and prey predatorily on things like smaller fish or aquatic invertebrates, but most of the time it's a lot easier for them to just prey on detritus. And these guys have some crazy morphological features that make them very unique. Of course they have their claws, which are extremely sharp and very powerful, but they also have claws on each of their six legs. These are hexapods. And if you look at their mouth, it looks like something from another planet. So these guys will push their food towards their mouth using their large claws and those little pedipalps you see right there. And then they will just eat it and they recycle those nutrients right back into the ecosystem. So these are awesome animals, guys. And if you're ever looking to find crayfish, the best way to find them during the daytime is under rocks. So these guys prefer to hunt at night. I guess they feel safer at night and they have those antennae, which help them kind of feel vibrations. So at night, you can actually find them out and about on creek beds and pond beds. But during the daytime, they prefer to hide under rocks and things like that. So these are just awesome animals, guys. And let's see if we can't find some bigger ones because these are definitely pretty small. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, there's a big one. Wow. Oh, we got him. All right. We just found a huge one. Right, let's put this rock back gently, gently, gently. All right, guys, now this is a mature crayfish. This is a big crustacean, guys. Now, we saw those little ones were probably about this big, but when they grow up, 
they can be this size. Now crayfish that's this big is going to be eating a lot of detritus, but it is definitely going to be doing lots of predatory hunting. So crayfish of this size will probably be eating smaller crayfish, it will be eating aquatic invertebrates like aquatic beetles and worms, and it can also snap up little minnows in those pinchers right there. Now those guys can react extremely quickly, so when, when it sees something it wants to when it wants to catch, it can react in a millisecond and pinch that. Now all of its legs also contain little pinchers. It doesn't use those as often as its main ones, but it can use those to help push food towards its mouth if it needs to. So this animal is about the size of my finger, but for those of you that don't believe a crayfish pinch is extremely strong, I'm about to prove it to you. A crayfish's pinchers are full of muscle. The entire area right behind the actual pincher part is just nothing but pinching muscle for crushing down on that prey. And they're also extremely sharp, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, let's show you just how hard this crayfish can pinch. Now, I'm not really looking forward to this, honestly, because I've been pinched by these before and it hurts a lot. But I do want to show you just how fast these pinchers can react and how strong they are, even on something as big as a human. All right, one, two, three, oh. Uh, he's, he's juking me out here, man. He's a big, he's a big one. Oh man, he wants it really bad. I'm scared. One, two, three. <laughs> oh man! Ready? He's going in with the other one. Oh, okay. So guys, what you just saw was exactly what they do in the wild. So the wild crayfish will go in with its lech pincher, which in most crayfish is its less dominant pincher. It'll go in with that first, it'll grab its prey, and then it'll come in with its crushing right pincher. So you saw he grabbed me with one pincher first, and then went in with the other one. Now at the end of each of his claws, he has a hook. And what that hook is doing is digging down into my skin, and making sure that if I was a slippery fish, I would not get away. Whew. And I'll tell you what, they are sharp hooks, man. Well, everyone, that's all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the American crayfish. Make sure to let me know what I can improve on in the comments section below. And subscribe to my channel for new wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.